Good evening. I'm Alex Zambalaki, and thanks for joining us. And that's where we begin tonight with the passing of the founder of the Fresno Grizzlies, John Carbray. We learned of the news last night. He was 80 years old and had been battling an illness for close to a decade, but he leaves an iconic stamp on the Central Valley. Julia Lopez joins us from the Sports Central desk tonight with more on the mastermind behind the Grizzlies. Julia. Thanks, Alex. On Fresno is just one of 30 cities in the country to have a AAA baseball team, and one of the main reasons is John Carbray. He and his wife Diane were the founders of the Fresno Grizzlies. We lost John yesterday, but the Grizzlies will always be his legacy. It sounds cliche, but it's true. The Fresno Grizzlies wouldn't exist if it weren't for John Carbray. Really sad news for this community and for this organization because obviously we wouldn't be here enjoying AAA baseball in this community without John's vision. Carbray was originally from Arkansas, but moved to Southern California and eventually graduated from Pepperdine University. He played baseball and was a standout catcher, but fell in love with the business side of sports. He knows how to draw people. He knows how to promote. To me, that said it all. And that's John Carbray. He moved to Fresno and launched the Fresno Diamond Group. He was able to get enough investors to purchase a ball club in 1997. He was not born and raised here in Fresno, but he made his mark. In Fresno. The Grizzlies played at Pete Biden Field for four seasons while the stadium was being built. And in 2002, the unique ballpark was complete and ready to open the gates for the Central Valley. John Carberry wanted lots of restrooms. He said that was crucial. He also wanted big corridors where people could walk through and get to the concession stands. Many thank Carbray for bringing the Grizzlies to Fresno, like Doug Greenwald, the voice of the team who was hired by him in 2002. I owe a lot to John Carbray, obviously, uh, uh, not just uh, giving me the opportunity here uh, in Fresno, but just my career overall. People describe Carbray as having a ton of grit, and that's what made him successful on the business side. Because he knew minor league baseball, you had to make sure you could really sell your point. But there was also a personal touch that will always be remembered. For me, he was one of my best friends, and I think he's one of the guys that really made this city even better. So John Carbray was inducted into the Fresno County Athletic Hall of Fame just last year. His wife, Diane, was there to receive that award in his honor. Alex, on back to you.